What do I do if, while I'm browsing the internet or watching a video, I notice an advert that goes against my morals, my values, my standards, my beliefs? Very simple. You skip the ad or you turn down the volume or you might want to look away for a moment. My brothers and sisters, remember that at times there are things that your eyes may glance upon that perhaps you would like to look away because of your beliefs, because of the values that you have. Now, there is no need to react in a way that might create a bigger problem. But if you'd like to report something that is immoral, that you feel should not be there, you may do so using the channels. And if that channel does not belong to you or does not belong to someone who has the same set of values, then you can skip it or you can actually look away or turn the volume down. As simple as that. I want to give you an example of YouTube. When we watch videos at times, we might see adverts. These adverts are not based solely on the person whose channel it is because YouTube allows the channel owner to actually control a lot of the types of adverts that they would allow on their channels. And if there is a specific advert that they don't want, they can actually if they know the link to it or if someone highlights it to them, they would be able to block that particular advert. But it is also connected to your own use of Google, your own use of the Internet, your own use of YouTube. And sometimes, depending on the settings of your phone, things that you say around your phone. So the adverts don't blame the owner of the channel always for adverts that you see. Because if you had a very clean use of the internet, you would not be seeing some of those immoral adverts. But at times, it could be the case where you may. One or two of these ads might slip in. What you do, you look away or you turn the volume down or you skip the advert. As simple as that. Sometimes, and I notice this a lot, where people begin to become so agitated, they start blaming the owner of the channel to say, why have you allowed X and Y advertisement when it might have been the way you use the internet that prompted that particular advert. And still, if you know the person or you have a connection with them or you have contact with them, you might want to click the link and forward it to them to be able to block something or deny that particular advert from being shown on their channel. So whenever you see an advert on someone's channel, it does not mean they are promoting that thing. It's just an advert that you can actually maybe benefit from at times or perhaps skip or not look at or turn the volume down. As simple as that. I hope this advice would actually benefit us. I've seen many scholars online actually who do have advertising or who have monetized their channels. And the reason why now I believe it is okay if you have ticked all those channels that you believe are perhaps or all those advertisements that you believe might be immoral, might be unacceptable, etc. You will still have a few where you might have to rely on the viewer to click skip ad or to even let you know that there's this particular advert and so on. They may be able to then do something about it. But to blame them solely? Nah, that's not on. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us ease.